Welcome to Wednesday and welcome to The Hump. This week we're talking regret. So joining us this week, we have a special guest, Clint Braddock. Hi. Sophie. Hello. And Jace. Hey, mate. Today we are talking all things regret. I feel like, Clint, you should start us off. You must have a regret in your life. Uh, one or two, possibly not staying with certain bands I work for longer than I did and would like to spend some more time with them. And what did you do with these bands? Uh, guitar tech, stage manager, that kind of thing. Are you allowed to name any names of these bands you miss? Uh, yes, well, you know, back from the 80s it was the Choir Boys. Uh, mm. I wish I had spent more time with them and mm. um, I ended up spending 32 years with Rose Tattoo, so um, yeah. that's not a regret at all. But yeah. Uh, yeah, there are some other bands in there. Which is quite rare that you'd stay with a, a group that long yeah, these days. Yeah, it's an amazingly long working relationship. Yeah. So anyone, and obviously you don't have to name names, but anyone that you regret working with? Yes, one or two of them <laughs> <laughs> shoved into, uh, but I can't name. No, names. obviously and, not. But, but um, yeah, the, some stuff's been hard, and you know, in the earlier days, I was out of my depth, and as we all were, we're learning our trade, and um, yeah. It, I think life's too short for a regret. I think, and like I'm sure from those incidents, is good and bad, and with any anything that happens, it's character building, it mm. shapes who you are and you can either learn from it or you can sort of stew in your own juice and go, oh my gosh, you mm. can't change it. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, just move on with it and don't make that same mistake or don't work with that person again or warn yeah. your fellow friends not to go near them. Mm. I feel like that's easy to say, yeah. living it out is a bit harder. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, like I'm not saying yeah. like when you're doing something, you might just say, oh my gosh, well, I should have listened to my gut or something. Yeah. But if you keep on reflecting on it, it's, mm. it's not moving forward. It's so. your way, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. So no. I think my first one was with a car and I sold it. It was a really nice car and my dad matched every dollar that I saved. Oh. And I'm like, I'm going to move to the city and be a city girl, sell everything and yeah, shouldn't have done that. I had regrets. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad idea. Should have stayed with mum and dad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Character building. Character yeah. Building. yeah oh, look, we'll I, that. I thought I'd have more, you know, some meaty ones, but now thinking about it, no, it's the stuff. It's the stuff that shapes you. You're absolutely right. I think mm. the only things I regret is just the dumb stuff, like you know, haircuts and fashion choices, <laughs> and the occasional girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but it's character building. Yeah, and we're it's old not, enough. Not it's, it's not saved on our social media like the youth. Ah, uh, actually, yeah. I that that's gonna. Be interesting when this yeah. generation finally yeah. grows up. Occasionally, <laughs> something will come up to burn you, and you're like, "Where'd that photo come from?" Yeah. Let's let's uh, forget yeah. that stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've had some um, people that I've sort of reacquainted myself with just say on Facebook, Facebook mm. friends, and all of a sudden on my page are like the photos from the '80s and yeah. the good old mullet. And everybody, I thought you were my friend. Right, I'm going to block you now and I'm going to block that photo. Yeah. But yeah, it's the haircut. I've had a, I've had a couple things. turning up that uh, you've scanned that in, haven't you? That's <laughs> from the, we didn't have. Cameras back then. Anyway. I know. <laughs> it's all character building. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, I think I think we're in a good place. I don't think we regret much. Except I think for serious that anyway. Twitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll be back after this. The Mackie DL32R is a powerful 32-channel digital mixer, completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's intuitive Master Fader iPad app, freeing you to get in the mix like never before. The Master Fader Control app is where everything happens. It's the most intuitive control app on the market, proven at more than two million live shows the world over. Download Master Fader for yourself to see it in action. Thanks for watching.
Barco's R-Series Digital Media Canvas is a flexible, lightweight, ultra-thin LED technology that expands creative possibilities beyond traditional applications. As there's no need for supporting structures, the R-Series can be glued onto a surface. Thanks to its flexible design, architectural constraints are reduced and less space needs to be freed up. There are also no visual gaps between sheets. Weighing less than 6 kilos a square metre and only 5 mil thick including the louvers, the R10 is offered in sheets up to 4.68 metres long. Cabling control and power electronics are integrated on every sheet. The R10 is driven by the InfiniPix image processing platform that provides a straightforward web-based interface for display configuration, dimming, control, monitoring and maintenance. Based on HTML5, different operating systems and mobile devices can be used to control the R-Series. Okay, so welcome back. I do have a regret. Oh. It's always about the hair. Yeah. I, in my awkward teenage years, mm -hmm. had my hair shaved, um, black lipstick, had my hair dyed that colour. <laughs> and I had this like mohawk, faux hook kind of thing. And I was working in the corporate world kind of as well. So that went down really wow. well. And it Front wasn't face. even for cancer. No, you thank you. Any money. No, I would, you You're will regret worse, saying Sophie. that to me. You're making it worse. Right, moving along. <laughs> okay, Clint, what's yours? Yeah, mine didn't have to be hair too. <laughs> that, the 80s mullet, it just kept getting longer and longer. And yeah. It was pretty tragic at times. Uh, it was business up the front, though. Oh yes, it was. Oh yes, yes, all business up the front. You grew okay. past your titties. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, I'm guilty. Yeah. Okay. Mine's the opposite. See, I chopped my beautiful hair off in my awkward stage, and um, my friend and I won a dolly contest, and they chopped our hair up to here. Wow. I mean, they said it looked good, but um, they dyed it black, and this was pre-straightener days, so it was very poofy. Black, no makeup. It just it wasn't pretty. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, mine's no. also hair. Uh, I was sixteen, hair down to here, got it permed. <laughs> I don't really know why. It was like all spiral, and I was kind of going for a kind of a dreadlock thing, which I then let it turn half into dreadlocks before then giving up and shaving it all off. It wasn't good. I feel I like we should all have photos. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for There's you. one photo. <laughs> yeah. There's one photo of it. We need to it's bring in these regrets. In moments. my parents' photo album somewhere. <laughs> it is never escaping. I my wife has help. seen it. Uh, she's she still married me. <laughs> I was going to say that. It's awful. Anyway, let's get off of that. Let's just have our regrets about our haircuts and let's have a look at what's in Gearbox. <laughs> Jimmy, QSIS, QSC. Yes, um, we looked at the platform, not when the initial frames came out, but last when I think the, the 250 and 500 series uh, cores came out. The 250 is discontinued now, and we've got now in its place, I guess, the Core 110F. Now, big difference between this and the 250 is that whereas the previous generation um, was card based, this is fixed I.O. And we've got 24 channels of analog I.O., of which eight is mic line inputs. Eight is out and eight, eight, eight and is eight eight It can be either. It's um, What do they call that? Flex channels. Yes, they call them flex channels. Uh, in addition to that, 16 channels of GPIO, plus we've got a 16 by 16 channel USB interface, plus we've got a POTS interface for, for connecting it to a phone line, yep. exactly. And we've got dual LAN ports, of course, supporting 128 channels of audio over QLAN protocol, which is QSC's audio over Ethernet. Well, that wraps it up for another exciting week. I hope that you don't regret joining in. I regret some of the conversations that we may or may have not had today, so I can't get over Jace's hair thing. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye.